It was an interesting morning for a front desk worker at Mount Juliet City Hall today. She basically helped the police department there solve a crime by just doing her job. News Channel 5's Chris Conti explains how it all happened. People coming in all the time wanting to pay a traffic ticket or... Tina Guinan's job is to listen to whoever comes in the front doors of the Mount Juliet City Hall. Okay, see you later. But this morning around 10 a.m., her little glass window turned into a confessional mm -hmm. booth. And he looked like he was about 16 or 17 years old. 21 years in city government could not prepare Tina for what she was about to hear. He comes up to my window and he looks at me and he says, I stole a car. And I looked at him and he says, and I feel really bad about it. Like any good government worker, she then told him to go to another window. I said, okay, well, what you'll need to do is go back out these doors, down the sidewalk to the next set of double doors and talk to the police department. I had to believe him. He said he stole a vehicle. I don't think somebody would walk in the police department and make up a story. Solving a crime. This is the car he drove in on. Has never been this easy for Sergeant Tyler Chandler. It saved a lot of resources. It saved time for a lot of the victims. They will get their stuff back. As for where this beat up old 250 came from. Hey, this is Chris calling from Channel 5 again. Turns out Austin Sparks took it from a construction company in Columbia. <laughs> it does. He made it about 60 miles and had a change of heart. We could have made arrangements to have gotten him to uh, his destination probably if he just asked us. The F-250 is no worse for the wear. We were surprised. We thought the truck had disappeared and would never be, uh, would never be found again. They say these trucks are built for tough. They're apparently built with a conscience, too. You've got to show some appreciation for them. Believe it or not, this isn't the first time that truck's been stolen. The owner, Dick Thompson, told us someone actually took it back in 2004, and a month later, police managed to find it. He plans on picking it back up a second time sometime tonight. Vicki. All right. Thanks, Chris. As for Austin Sparks, the man who admitted to stealing the truck, he's still sitting in the Wilson County Jail tonight.